but um, you can have alchemy with your own thoughts and emotions. You know what I mean? Like yeah. we were talking about when, when you're on a low or a down or a lull, um, instead of feeling that sadness, I think that's a good thing. And I embrace that. And I take the alchemy, I use the alchemy of the bad emotions. Like when my stock is low, I buy stock in myself because I know it's going up. Every down, every adversity has the seed of an equal opportunity and greatness coming. So when shit's going wrong, I kind of like smile at myself. It's like, and I'm like, you're know, sad but, now, but yeah. I know some good shit is coming yeah. eventually. And, uh, and like that's the, alchemy. Yeah, the, I mean, the main process of alchemy is, I don't know I put quotes there, um, is transmutation. That's what I meant with the air quotes. Yep. Transmutation. So the three-step process to transmutation is... Forget the, the technical term of the first part, but it's pretty much awareness or understanding of what the, I guess the understanding of the composition of what you need to change. And there's deconstruction and then reconstruction. There you go. That sounds like cellular function in the body all the time. Yeah, and think about a problem you have, right? I'm aware of the problem. Break it down to the simplest components, which is what you're doing, and then reconstructing it back in a way that works. And then, right, and then change what you can change. Yeah. Be aware of and let go of what you can't Shifting change. Shifting your perspective, being aware of what my perspective is breaking it down to why I think that way, then reconstructing a new perspective. Boom. Alchemy. Literally. Micronutrients. <laughs> I love it. <laughs>
Just get outside. Get some sun. Get some sun. Get some sun on your face. Run around naked. That's it. Well, that's the thing. I think that the calculation of why you can't get enough is anything north of like Atlanta, Georgia in the winter, you're getting no vitamin no D. Vitamin D. Like almost not enough. Just super depressed. Because yes. Of and in the summer, you'd have to be outside naked for at least two hours between 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. or something like that. So, like so that with perfect clothes and roofs over our heads, you're not getting enough vitamin D, I guarantee fucking What if I go to Petco and get one of those UV lamps? That would be cool if it produces vitamin D. So that would be the case for like a tanning machine, but then that comes with other side effects. Yeah. So what if... I never had to worry about that. There was a dying star that provided you with all the energy you needed. It sounds like something out of Star Wars, man. It is. <laughs> <laughs> Except what are you it's saying? real. You're saying that I'm um, a fucking Jedi? Well, no, that's what... Well, you are, first of all, you are a Jedi. <laughs> Second of all, that's like what Jordan Peterson says. It's like... Movies and books and all and novels and fiction, they're all true stories. The characters are different. But yeah. the fucking stories are all real. Yeah, things the Odyssey, you've seen that story a billion times. Yeah. And over and over and like over. Like Avatar, and over. James Cameron Avatar oh. is like Pocahontas basically. It the, literally Pocahontas, which was literally something else, which is literally which something Which is something listen else. that happened. <laughs> it's like, oh, well, the, the 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 Lion King, that's just a cartoon. Like you never fucking seen that shit. Bro, I love that's the, the hero <laughs> journey right I there. love in the I was watching The Office during Thanksgiving because you know my family help we love The Office. Of course, who doesn't? I was gonna say. But I was listening to the one where it's not your um, terrorist about the bird dying and people were talking oh. and he had them sitting around talking about sad stories and uh, they're all make they're all like uh, paraphrasing movies into their actual stories and Ryan was like, "Yeah, when I was in Africa one time, my uh, my uncle Mufasa got trampled by a <laughs> stampede of wildebeest." Michael was like, "Oh, how how did you how'd that make you feel?" He's like, "That made all all of us in the audience were, were very sad." Michael was like, "Yeah." <laughs> he left only to get a new perspective on life and returned as the king. Whoa. Returned to the king. To go. And while he was gone, he went vegan in the jungle with the. He did. <laughs> he fucking was meditating and loving life. Loving life, hanging out with, all, uh, you know, the and homies. And fucking eating mushrooms and fucking went vegan and came back. And then you know who brought him back? A fucking woman. Fucking woman. She was like, listen, she was you like, need to yo, stop being, being a, a vegan bitch. bitch. Yeah, yo, she, she literally like, said that and smacked the shit yeah, out of Yeah, she's like, she, you're being a bitch right now. She smacked the shit She was like, it's cool you're trying to fucking be a vegan yogi. And find yourself. And find yourself here, literally. All great but things. We need you. <laughs> and you're the fucking king. So yeah. return to, you know, you're done crying? Yeah. Because you should return to the village and save everybody. Yeah, he's like, and he did. But I don't want to. But I don't want to. My ego doesn't want to do stuff. Yeah. I don't want to be I better. I like hanging out with the meerkat. I don't like being <laughs> better. He never calls me names. <laughs> They're just having fun all day. So yeah. the moral is balance. Have fun. Have fun, but personal responsibilities exactly. as well. Be the warrior and the king within you. Whoa. King or queen, warrior or warrior Huntress. princess. Huntress. Thank there you. you. Um, <clears throat> so let's <laughs> run through. Side tangent. Micronutrients. Sidebar. Um, so you went through the different types. Um, yeah. Minerals, which are... Stuff you've seen, but probably don't associate with the human body. Like, you got copper in your body, you got iron in your body. Oh, yeah. You got lots of, you got manganese, magnesium. All of them. Let's break them down from the top. not lead, but we will get to that. Water-soluble <laughs> vitamins. Yeah, exactly. Lead, arsenic, some other heavy metals. Um, Water-soluble vitamins. The B vitamins. B, 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 7, 9, 12, right? Um, and vitamin C, <clears throat> as we mentioned, are your water-soluble vitamins. Um... Basically, if we were to sum up all of them without going through each B, it's basically converting the carbohydrates and the food you eat into energy, like facilitates that process. Yeah, a lot of role, a big role in like the mitochondria, which is the powerhouse of the cell, if you remember from, from high school science class. Um, but yeah, it aids in the function of creating energy. Oh yeah, yeah everything so. is energy. And so that's why a lot of times people who are deficient in B vitamins will have low energy, or people who go to a vegan diet or a vegetarian diet and aren't getting enough B12 naturally, Will notice that they feel sluggish until they start supplementing with something. Perfect. Um, vitamin C is water soluble as well. People think of that as immune function, which if you're deficient and then you become sufficient by supplementing or getting yeah. enough vitamin D through your, vitamin C through your diet, that will help your immunity, sure. But it's basically helping create neurotransmitters and helps with collagen, which is protein in your skin. Yeah, that's beautiful. So. Um, the B vitamins 
essentially, like you were saying, you're going to get from meat, specifically red meat, which is why if you're not eating meat on some vegan vegetarian type of situation, um, hopefully not dogma for life, but like a period of time where you're yeah. not eating meat, um, you may want to supplement with B vitamins. Yes. Yeah. Um, great supplements that are not just like chemically derived or um, which I've been messing around with nutritional yeast, which is naturally occurring, is actually loaded with B vitamins. It doesn't have B12, but it has every other B vitamin nice. in surplus. Um, algae, blue-green algae, spirulina, chlorella, all are really ha ha high in pretty much every vitamin, but Huge. especially the B, B vitamins. Um, but I do, like right now, I'm on a plant-based plant -based kick right now, and I do take a supplement that has uh, specifically formulated for plant-based diets, and it has some B12 in there. Huge. And those also go by different names. If you hear of like niacin or thiamine, Foley, riboflavin, riboflavin, riboflavin yeah. those are all B, the same B vitamins. So, Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh. And then vitamin C, you were thinking some citrus fruits and maybe bell peppers and stuff like that? Yeah, like any kind of your red bell peppers, like orange, the yellows. Um, goji berries, when they came out, were a superfood that have like 300% times, but the same thing. You don't need, more is not always better. With water soluble, more won't kill you, but it won't necessarily make anything better. Right. So in your vitamin, multivitamin, it says like 6,000% of your daily value of B6, you're not going to get 6,000% of the value of it. You're going to get whatever you need to make up the deficiency. Then and you then piss out the rest with your rest. Uh, neon Simpsons <laughs> colored yeah. piss. Yeah, highlighter pee. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, which is perfect to mention as far as a segue, like macros, macronutrients, you can look at nutrition labels, you can Google stuff, you weigh, you measure, and you set it up. Micronutrients to find deficiencies, you're going to need blood work. You're yes, going to need yes. either a doctor that knows what the fuck he's talking about or someone to read the blood work to see what you're deficient in. And then you try to round out your diet. And like you said, if you have some type of restriction, then you may want to supplement. So we're not yeah. just going to guess and check with um, supplementation of micronutrients. Yeah, and if you do have like low energy or, you know, as we go through all these vitamins, a symptom of a deficiency. Your first reaction may be like, I go to the doctor, I'm sick, something's wrong with me. Get a blood work done first. Oh boy. See if there's anything you can do because you may just have to fucking eat an apple and then you'll be fine the rest instead of having to go take pills. So be aware first of what's happening in your body. If everything's good, then there may be something else going on. But um, take personal responsibility for your health. The doctor is there if you fucking break your leg or you need surgery or some shit. Yeah, but take care of yourself. Simple. And it super feels good simple. to take care of yourself. It really does. It's empowering. Uh, vitamin C also scurvy. That's Scurvy! Problem for you know pirates back in the day, which makes sense because they're on the boat all the fucking time. Not a lot of vitamin C in the ocean, but... Um, and they were only eating meat. Oh, you know what I mean? Yeah, only So then meat. that's perfect. They so if you're straight, doing a yeah. vegan diet, you're going to supplement the B vitamins, and if you're doing a carnivore diet, you're probably going to have to supplement C. Wow, I mean, like, it's kind of crazy that pirates were, like, had any kind of strength at all because they're just drinking alcohol the whole time Dude, and only I don't getting meat. I like, understand so any of that shit. poisoning yourself and then just only eating meat. Do you know how long it takes it? to get to America on a boat from Europe it's or Africa? Fucking time. months, dude. Yeah. How the fuck does that no happen? People idea. are complaining about a 30 minute commute with a fucking <laughs> yeah. podcast on in air conditioning. In Dunkin' Donuts. The, the Jesus, side, yeah. sipping on Starbucks, crying, oh, there's traffic. <laughs> people are rowing. People are, people are fucking rowing. The wind was prepare, fucking propelling sails. With no idea if they'd ever even get to where they're going. Or if there was a where they were going. Or you were going to fall off the fucking edge of the earth. Yeah, that's right. You got your fucking Google Maps showing you the way. <laughs> fucking Siri whispering in your ear. And they were just rowing their ass off. Which brings me to fat-soluble vitamins. <laughs> Perfect segue. <laughs> That's what I do for a living. Professional podcaster. <laughs> uh, a, D, E, and K, like we mentioned. Vitamin A is going to help vision and organs, right? Vitamin D is going to, you know, sure, it's going to help calcium absorption for bone growth and repair, but also huge for immune function. Uh, it's actually a steroid, or isn't it? It's a sterol, which is sterol. a steroid Pre precursor. precursor yeah. So vitamin D is a big deal. Um, vitamin E is another good one for immunity, but also protecting cell damage because it's an antioxidant. It helps yeah. skin quite a bit, skin health. And vitamin K is going to help out your liver, but also a lot of stuff with the blood for clotting and bone development and artery health and whatnot. All right, so vitamin A... Obviously, you're going to get all these through uh, like organ meats, like beef liver and yeah. stuff like that, and heart. But uh, not a lot of people are eating a lot of organ meats. So, um, vitamin A, you can also get like sweet potatoes and carrots, carrots and stuff orangey like that. red stuff. Yeah, orangey red um, vegetables. Uh, vitamin D. 
There's a little bit in some dairy and there's a little bit in some cold water fish, so in your fish oil supplement, but not enough. You need sunlight or a vitamin D supplement or both. Yeah. As much as you possibly can. Stay outside more. It will save it'll, it'll feel good. your life. The sun is there so we can all have Yeah, the life. next time you think about getting into one of your bad habits, just get up and walk outside. Huge. Huge. At, when the fucking voices start going and the negative stories. Stop you what you're doing. Break that pattern. Go for a walk. It'll do you good. Just get moving. Do you real good. Um, vitamin E. Maybe some sunflower seeds and some nuts and stuff. Vitamin E. Yeah, oh yeah, nuts and seeds are pretty high in vitamin E. Uh, like I said, it's really uh, um, powerful anti antioxidant, which is why people think of it as in, for helping skin. You have like all the lotions with vitamin E. What it's essentially doing is preventing cell damage to your skin. Yeah, because um, the skin's turning over those cells. Like what every cell in your body turns over every like one to seven years or whatever. Your yeah. skin cells are turning over every motherfucking yeah, large, day. Largest organ in your body, and people don't think of it as an organ, but sure is. The show is. Um, and then vitamin K, there's different kind, you know, MK4, MK7, there's a whole bunch of 14, there's a bunch of different like sectors of it. And sure, you can get some in leafy green vegetables, but vitamin K is another one I like to supplement, hard to get through food, but it's within my vitamin D supplement as a, con a compound. Yeah, same, I have it in mine as well. Because you're smart. My um, brain works good. So those are your vitamins. Minerals, right? We're going to start with the macro minerals. Calcium, right? You think of it for bones and teeth, but also uh, like blood blood vessel constriction. Yeah, does muscle contraction with major muscle function, contraction? Muscle contraction. Huge. Phosphorus, bones and cell membranes. Magnesium. This is the next one. Probably only this is like the third and last thing I would say that you have to supplement. And I say have to because magnesium assists in over three hundred functions in the body. Blood pressure, nervous system, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of functions, and it's pretty hard to get enough um, within your diet. Just straight from food. So when we do the supplementation episode, I'll give you my like recommended milligrams per who you are and whatnot yeah, for yeah. each one of these. But um, magnesium before bed to calm the nervous system to help cell repair and just that's a real nice regeneration. Super nice. Then um, sodium that we talked about, super duper electrolyte, help balances your fluid levels to maintain Fluids. blood pressure and whatnot. Homeostasis. Chloride is the other side, like you were saying, the, pos the negative to the positive that is sodium. Yeah, negatively um, charged. Mm -hmm. So that's what is the balance uh, for your digestive juices and your blood and your other fluids. Uh, potassium, right? That's going to maintain uh, cell health and nerve transmission, and muscular function, mm -hmm. once again. So if you're getting cramps, you're going to need some sodium and potassium. For sure. Don't fuck your shit up. And then sulfur, that's another good one. Uh, it's in all your living tissue. So calcium, you know, you're talking about uh, dairy products. It's going to be in, obviously. But um, if you don't fuck with dairy, the leafy greens. Dark leafy greens. Cruciferous vegetables are yeah. going to do you good. Um, phosphorus, you're going to get in like meat, yogurt, fish. So that's like in your proteins yeah. and whatnot. Um, magnesium, like I said, it's, it's, a, it's in nuts and stuff. But it's not, you'll not see enough. It, it'll be like 2%. Or to, like to get enough magnesium from nuts, you're talking thousands of calories. Yes. So the micros so don't add outweighs, up. yeah. Mm -hmm. Sodium, once again, if you're eating processed junk, you may be getting too much sodium. Yeah. But if you're eating super clean, you're going to want to put sea salt yeah. on your shit to get sufficient amount of sodium. Yeah, if you're eating lean meats, vegetables, a lot of stuff doesn't have salt. That's why people always add salt to home-cooked food because you need a little bit of salt. Goddamn delicious. Potassium, people always think bananas, but I could name like 10 foods that have more potassium than bananas. Uh, sweet potatoes. Yeah. Some beans and lentils and stuff. Squash. Spinach. Yeah, spinach even. Um, and then sulfur is going to be in your, you know, eggs, garlic, onions, yeah. stanky stanks. Stinks, stinks. Um, super necessary. So then your trace minerals that you're going to want in your water, like if you're drinking uh, artesian well water and fancy mineral waters, they have all these trace minerals in it. And if you're drinking super duper filtered water, like a reverse osmosis water, reverse osmosis doesn't filter water, it makes water. It literally purifies through a membrane and only spits out H2O. High so, quality H2O? Yeah, we told people about the water boy last time. <laughs> uh, it's too high quality of H2O because it's stripped of all the minerals. Yeah. So I used to drink reverse osmosis water and then put my own trace mineral drops in there. Um, 
super necessary. Um, so the trace minerals, we're talking about iron, which is going to help oxygen get to the muscles, right? That's super important. Super necessary. Team. Manganese, yes, uh, assists in carbohydrate metabolism. Copper is in your connective tissue, right, and some brain and nervous system function. Zinc, super necessary for, once again, uh, people think of like vitamin C when you're sick. It's probably zinc. Zinc, yeah. Zinc is going to be deficient in a lot of people, um, and it's going to help your immune system quite a bit. Uh, iodine, once again, is going to help your thyroid, and selenium is going to help your thyroid as well and prevent some oxidative cell damage and whatnot. Yeah. Um, so iron is going to be in what? Maybe some spinach and green leafy vegetables Yeah, definitely a lot of your dark leafy greens, definitely some nuts and seeds. Um, nuts and seeds for sure. Uh, yeah. Manganese in like pineapple and some, once again, nuts and stuff. Uh, copper is going to be in, everything can pretty much be in organ meats, but I don't know how many people are eating liver, but like seafood and stuff like yeah. that has a lot of copper and zinc. So once again, zinc, zinc sure. yeah. if you're not slamming down oysters, you might want to supplement some zinc. Um, iodine, once again, it's going to be in table salt that they, because it's that important that they've, um, Enhanced table iodized, salt, iodized salt. iodized salt, but it's in um, you know seaweed and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, it's a lot of kelp, dark green or blue green algae stuff like that. And then selenium is in Brazil nuts mostly. I think I told you the story. Um, Tim Ferriss, while reading the Four Hour Body, I think, or Four Hour Chef, perhaps one of yeah, Tim yeah. Ferriss's books I was reading, and. Um, he was having some thyroid problems, so the doctor's like, here, let me give you a whole bunch of pills and fuck up your whole endocrine system. And he was like, wait a second, what if I just supplement? And then he said, wait a second. So then he takes the supplements, actually, and three months later, he takes them religiously, perfect dosage, blah, blah, blah. For whatever reason, supplements sucked or his genetics sucked or didn't work or whatever, yeah. no change. So then what he added was seven or something Brazil nuts every single day because he found out through his blood work that he was deficient in selenium. Boom, no more thyroid problem. Wow. No drugs, no supplements, just food. A well-balanced diet is super food is necessary. Medicine. Food is your medicine and medicine is your food. What? Should be. Blasphemy. Um, you know, like I said, we'll go over dosages and whatnot on the supplement episode coming up. However... Basically, if you're eating healthy, whole, balanced diet, you're going to hit your micronutrients. Most so when you focus on whole, healthy foods for your macronutrients, the micros kind of fall into place. Are you a, uh, if it fits your macros, eat a bunch of junk and pop a multivitamin type of guy? Uh, I used to be um, because... Uh, for when I was younger, college lifting, life, just yeah. like thought I had to, and then like right. thought it was super necessary. Also, like when I was bulking, like just with my genetics, I'm trying to put down like three thousand, four thousand calories. So, so you're like, gonna get a little junk in there. Well, and I'm also I'm just like I'm eating. I was even when I wasn't doing junk, like I'm just so focused on getting my carbs, proteins, and fats. The in macros, it, that vegetables, and some of the stuff that I needed got thrown to the wayside. Sure, just for that. volume, you know just for mean? volume's sake. Yeah, trying Filling to get up. thousands of calories in. The fibrous stuff is going to fill you up a lot more sure, and yeah. block that. So think about that conversely. If you're trying to lose weight, you might want more leafy fibers yeah, exactly. to fill you up so you're less hungry and you can sustain that caloric deficit. But um, but, but now um, like now I don't – now I take a supplement because I'm on a plant base that has like zinc, vitamin K, vitamin D, a couple other things. That you need. Some omegas. Some omegas there. Sure. Yeah. Um, so only like six things in there. But yeah, I'm not um, – not super, it's not a lot of supplements I take. Most of the supplements I take now are like herbal stuff. Sure, me too. Um, like nootropics. Nootropics and yeah. stuff, yep. Um, Anti-inflammatory stuff. Fun stuff, yep, me too. But I mean, if you're, I mean, if you're really deficient, um, and you, then it's not going to hurt to take a multi, chances are it won't hurt. But right, because is it going to absorb properly and is the, are the levels Exactly. Yeah, because I mean, you you'll see on the back of like a multivitamin, it'd be like four hundred percent of this, two hundred percent of that. But like, how do you know if that's? I used to think that's the shit. Yeah, the more is better. Yeah, it's not the case like we just talked about. Um, and also, you gotta be certain that if you're not like getting, like we said, water soluble vitamins that piss them off, fat solubles, you can actually be toxic in fat soluble vitamins. Sure. Um, so you can get too much. Literally, have too much of it. Um, still, it's gonna be hard to. But if you're already getting what you need from food, and then you're just going oh too hard in the multivitamins, then. You guys should be doing more harm than good. 
Yeah, the body's going to store a lot of those toxins in fat cells. Yeah, exactly. So that's why exercise is like super important so you can flush that shit out. Really? I mean, I heard from yeah. a guy. That one guy down the road? Yeah. You know, exercise, breaking news. It's good for you. Don't see that in the headlines on TV. Though. No, you're not going to hear that <laughs> on the news. You're not going to hear. Because that's my whole fucking thing. If they're like, fucking wear a mask, wash your hands, and gargle hand sanitizer, why don't they put on the screen also, take vitamin D, exercise, limit sugary foods and junk? Because now you're telling people what to do with their lives. But they are telling people what to do with their lives and shutting down businesses and doing all this other you're nonsense. Telling me. So if it was about health and safety, they should educate you on your health and safety instead of a monthly uh, check, stimulus check, yeah. why not send a bottle of vitamin D to everybody with instructions on how to take it? $10 vitamin D lasts three months, it'll save your life. 87% of the people that died from COVID-19 were vitamin D deficient because it fucks with your immune system. And who's in control of that? You are. A couple drops under your tongue, Going out, taking a walk, looking at the sun every now and then. Yeah, I mean, we'll, I mean, we'll get to the probably the whole episode of immune stuff Hell at yeah. some point. Um, but a lot of your immune system is based in your gut, and a lot of what that is is what foods you're eating. Because again, you have the second, the highest density of like neurons in your gut besides your brain. So that's why it's called the second brain. Exactly, and you know, they work together through neurotransmitters yeah. and hormones. And technically, your insides are really at the outside of your body. So your intestines are the outside of your body. So 100%. if food's going in, it's getting absorbed through that cell membrane. So if stuff is breaking down that cell membrane, if you're eating inflammatory stuff, uh, and that stuff's, you know... Your leak. gut's leaking all over Yeah, the and that's like controversial whether it happens or not, but I mean, the, the concept, the is, concept is, is all, and for the fact that you're going to justify eating shitty food. Right. It, it's, it's crazy. Regardless man. if it didn't work, you know, like it's, you're going into your body absorbed. Like you said, your cells change over every one to seven years. If you've been eating seven years of junk food, your body's made of junk food, essentially. Yeah, you are what you eat. Four Literally, realsies. Yeah. Like Four realsies. Is, like where does that stuff go? And same thing with the, the, the micronutrients. Those are pretty much allowing the processes within your body to happen. So if you're not getting those in. Yeah. I never understood the concept. I think it's more like uh, conditioning from childhood that like um, eating healthy is like either hard to do or it's gross. To me, the other way around is gross. Like, I, like if I went to like, just gross. thinking about McDonald's, I have like I feel like I'm going to puke. Yeah, like I had pizza like the other day and then I felt sick. Yeah, and that's <laughs> even like not the worst. It's probably just that's too greasy and some yeah, wheat, yeah. but like still, still. Yeah, it was like uh, I was a super picky eater. I only like sugar when I was a kid, but um, and a lot, I think a lot like my mom like devoured because I could love chocolate when she was pregnant. Of course, so she loved like yogurts and grapes with my sister. So <laughs> like yogurt and grapes. That's um, awesome. Yeah, which is better than the chocolate thing. But um, luckily, my genetics can handle like staving off the negative side effects for the most part. Um, but yeah, what, what, what were you saying before? I don't know, but I was just thinking about <laughs> uh, on the supplementation episode, talking about fermented foods and yogurts and yeah. whatnot, because oh, gut, supplementing probiotics, gut. right, because we were talking about the gut. Supplementing probiotics kind of fucks, not fucks you up, but kind of is a waste of time and a waste of money. Yeah, because it's, it's, again, one of those things where it's not like a, a one-size-fits-all yep. thing. Like, there's... Thousands, millions of bacteria. Billions, strains, billions, billions of bacterial strains. You have more bacterial cells in your, you have more bacteria cells in your body than you have human cells. There's more cells, living cells, that are not you, you. than are you in you. And that's a symbiotic relationship. And they have they, a direct connection, direct line to your brain. They can't live with you. You can't live without them. Yeah. So why wouldn't you feed them the good stuff? I'm gonna go a little bit red, red pill here one time. Please. One time I was tripping super hard and I. <laughs> like mentally Talking connected to, the bacteria. To, to my gut bacteria, yeah. I believe it. And they're telling me what to eat. They have energy. Well, well, that's what happened to me. I didn't and think I, of it like that. But that's anytime they say like, stop eating carbs or, you know, that's listening to your body. Listen to your gut. It sounds, right. Like, go with, go, your, gut. Go with your gut. Like, that's your fucking solar plex chakra saying something's fucked that's up here. The majority of your body telling you what your body needs. You know? Literally. So that's what listening to that is, those signals. Don't ignore that shit. I've had that plenty of times. Stop eating carbs or... Uh, stop eating meat for yeah. just a period of time. It's yeah. not that I put vegan plant-based warrior on my profile and I get a fucking tattoo of a T-bone and I only eat carnivore for forever. Yeah. It's I listen to the cycles and the flow of my body just the same way that the earth has seasons and different things. You go with different changes, whatever feels good. But yeah, that's literally your gut bacteria crying out for yeah, a lot of what micronutrients you need. Yeah, are from the bacteria. So if you're harboring an environment that where bad... 
or you know, not beneficial bacteria can proliferate, they're going to be the ones pulling strings on your brain. Well, that's your body, the thing. Sugar and trans fats and junk feed bad gut bacteria yeah. it, and facts, kill facts, good bacteria. Yeah. Um, Damn, that's something else good. Oh, uh, <laughs> cravings that you have are not even for specific foods. They're for micronutrients. Yeah. So like we were saying, like a lot of times you'll, if you're like craving a pickle or something, it's like you need sodium, sodium. and your body knows it yeah. needs sodium and your dumb ego is like, I like pickles. <laughs> Which I do like pickles. You know what I'm saying? We also need sodium. Sure you do. Right. But on a cellular level, yeah. <laughs> you need some kind of, uh, that's why I was saying too, like all this balance within everything, I try to like pair foods like that as well. Like if, I, if I'm if i having like a bunch of steak, I know I'm going to put a lot of salt on that steak. So then there's like a sweet potato. So you get salt, sodium and potassium with that type of thing. Or like I was saying, like if I buy uh, at a, at a, corner store or something, I buy yeah. some beef jerky as a snack, I'm going to get coconut water, so now you get sodium and potassium. potassium yeah. And those are just easy pairs to make, but that's why I also, and some people think this is hippie woo nonsense, eating the rainbow of like full colors on your plates and I different mean, stuff. I don't think that's hippie nonsense, it's pretty scientific that like color represents a vibration and those colors also have specific, there's no, there's a reason why certain colors have certain nutrients and they don't They're fucking delicious green bell pepper is the same thing as a red bell pepper but the redness has more white made than the green bell pepper why is that magic magic sorcery i mean magic and science and spirituality are all the same, all same thing. thing yeah except science is just repeatable under clinical trials and people wear lab coats so they're legit that's it so you can wear a cloak and people think you're a creepy you know nutso. but if that cloak has a name tag this is nd and, and next white, to it and you were yeah interesting they're just doctors with white Cloaks. Or they're just wizards with white cloaks who study science. Alchemist. Alchemist, yeah. If you're a chemist, how you're not an alchemist. Alchemy is the precursor that came before chemistry. There you go. But that's kind of what you're doing in your body at all times. Yeah, chemistry is just like the distilled down just the physical portion of yes. alchemy. Alchemy delved into spiritual transformation along with the physical processes. Sure. Yeah. So that's what we were talking about before, too. And this is, has nothing to do with micronutrients. but um, Doesn't it, though? <laughs> everything has to do with everything because everything is connected. But um, you can have alchemy with your own thoughts and emotions. You know what I mean? Like yeah. we were talking about when, when you're on a low or a down or a lull, um, instead of feeling that sadness, I think that's a good thing. And I embrace that. And I take the alchemy. I use the alchemy of the bad emotions. Like when my stock is low, I buy stock in myself because I know it's going up. Every down, every adversity has the seed of an equal opportunity and greatness coming so when shit's going wrong i kind of like smile at myself like, and i'm like you're know, sad now but yeah. i know some good shit is coming yeah. eventually and, uh, and like that's the, alchemy yeah the i mean the main process of alchemy is i know i put quotes there um is transmutation that's very much there yep transmutation so the three-step process of transmutation is i forget like the, the technical term of the first part but it's pretty much awareness or understanding of what the i guess the understanding of the composition of what you need to change and there's deconstruction and then reconstruction. There you go. That sounds like cellular function in the body all the time. Yeah, and think about a problem you have, right? I'm aware of the problem. Break it down to the simplest components, which is what you're doing, and then reconstructing it back in a way that works. And then, right, and then change what you can change. Yeah. Be aware of and let go of what you can't Shifting change. Shifting your perspective, being aware of what my perspective is, breaking it down to why I think that way, then reconstructing a new perspective. Boom. Alchemy. Literally. Micronutrients. <laughs> I love it. Vitamins, same. minerals, fat soluble, water soluble. We've already explained what the foods are. On Monday, we'll talk about like what and how much you should supplement, even though we touched on some of those and what supplements. That's going to be a, a myth busting episode of what's bullshit and what's legit. Yeah. So few supplements are legit. So basically, the moral of this episode is eat whole, healthy foods that taste good, that not only hit your macros, but if they're Healthy fruits, vegetables, nuts, and seeds, eggs and fish, right? Um, then you're going to hit your micros on accident. Besides your vitamin D, which we already know, you're going to go out, take a walk, smile, breathe through your nose, and tell yourself you're happy and you're healthy and you're whole and you love yourself and you love the world. Love, man. I'm just saying, you know? <laughs> Remember, I used to, used to think that was stupid, like the Beatles and shit. They'd be like, all you need is love. I'm like, these fucking hit <laughs> But when you actually get it, because that's one of those bastardized words where it's like... What, love? Yeah, because like romantic love is like kind of like... I love Starbucks. Do you, let's, but you yeah. also love your mom, but you also love, you know, you your really church, love you love lamp. Jesus, and then you just love... Right. And all I kinds love of love. I, that's, that's a word that has like barnacles on it. 
like oh. a big blue whale that's been around for so many thousands of years, you only see the barnacles and you're turned off and you don't really know that's a beautiful blue whale under there. Whoa. You know what I'm saying? Because it's been that's a writer down right there, right? That's a writer down. downer. Write that shit down. Whales. Um, well, it's too far into the podcast. Nobody's listening to this anyway. But that's true. Big blue whales, beautiful, and so are you, buddy. <laughs> Thanks, man. We'll see you I guys next whale. time. Take your vitamins, say your prayers, love yourself, love your mom. Because I do. Peace. <laughs>